Hello. Uh, it's really late at night. And uh, I was showing you folks some new stuff that no one's ever seen before. And I've got some other tricks up my sleeve regarding magnetism. <coughs> I get too close. Uh, magnetism and light, some precision diffraction grading. How actually the centripetal part of this magnet actually gobbles up light and the centrifugal diverges, in, uh, diverges it. Electromagnetic retardation is what it's technically called, EM retardation. Um, I want to talk about this little sucker for a second. And oh my god, it's dangerous. <sighs> As I mentioned to you before in other videos, Magnetism is not magnetism. Well, what the hell does that nonsense mean? It means that a Gauss meter will measure X flux density here, which is really high along the centrifugal edge, and it'll taper off and it'll get really strong right here at the center. The center of every pole of every magnet, a magnet technically doesn't have poles, it has the inverse of counter space because that which defines a magnet is nothing other than coherent um, field divergence. I mean, it's the same difference between a light and a laser. What's the difference? Coherency. Um, but this is like nature's coffee. Every time I experiment over top of this dangerous, expensive beast, it uh, actually hits you in the face with a feeling that actually accumulates rather quickly. Uh, like you've been out in the bright sun and you kind of feel like your peepers. It's actually the chromatomes in your eyes. Like your peepers have been bombarded by light hitting you from above and from below, from like the white sand beaches. It's like that feeling. Um, but it gives you a really unusual high. And no, I don't take drugs. Never have. My mind's all I got left, right? Um, that will keep you awake for two and a half days without any side effects. Um, now nobody... See, now this magnet, if you actually place a CRT tube about 20 feet away, you can actually take this magnet and go wah. You can actually see it affecting it 20 feet away. And I'm only like 2 feet away. My face is anyway. Um, so it's actually blasting me in the face like a fire hose with, you know, field divergence along the centrifugal edge. And uh, it is very, very strange. Now, I'm the only person on YouTube that would be reporting about this because maybe I'm the only person stupid enough to, <laughs> to experiment over top of a, you know, a monster neodymium like this, but it does affect you that way. And uh, it's like uh, taking caffeine with none of the side effects, but it will wire you, but in a lucid way, it will, it will wire you. Um, I can't imagine, like, college kids, like, trying to cram for an exam, like, sticking their face over top of this thing for half an hour, then being wired. You know, how, who knows how it adversely affects the brain. Some people already think I'm crazy. Um, but I wanted to report on that neat, because science has not really, uh, experimented with, uh, you know, a strong, purely, electromagnetic fields, one thing, but purely magnetic field, the science really has not delved into that. I mean, they have not. They say, oh, well, they have with MRI machines, nah, you mean, which are much more powerful. But they really haven't, and they don't understand what's going on, and uh, there's really no information out there about it. So anyway, I'd like to report to you what this does to someone physically. Like I said, it affects a CRT tube from over 20 feet away. What do you think it's doing to me from 2 feet away? And I've been stooped over it now for ooh, about an hour or so, you know, and made a couple of videos and experimenting because... I came up with some ingenious uh, ideas of uh, showing uh, uh, how the field here affects light. And there's a, uh, a gold device, a gold collecting device that uses the diamagnetic nature of gold um, to employ magnetism to collect gold out of sluicing devices. Uh, that's in the works by someone I won't mention. That's a secret little project. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd give you that little tidbit of information. Do with it what you will, but everything I reported is factual. Maybe interesting, maybe not. Thanks for watching. Bye.